Hi, my name is Neil Cummings and welcome to my course on building a web application using ASP.NET Core Web API, Entity Framework Core, and Angular from scratch. First of all, let's take a look at what we're actually going to be building on this course. So we will be using ASP.NET Core and Angular to build a fully functional but relatively simple dating site. This will include the ability for users to register, log in, authenticate to the site using JSON web tokens. Users will be able to view other users' profiles, including a photo gallery, and will be able to send them likes and send them private messages. Users will also be able to update their own profiles and use a drag and drop photo uploader to store their own photos securely, and this will be in the cloud. We'll also make use of Bootstrap to give it a great look and feel without needing to write too much CSS. And we'll make use of third-party components to give the site a bit of pizzazz where necessary. So in order to build this particular application, we're going to need some protagonists. In this case, it's going to be ASP.NET Core, Entity Framework, and Angular. Now, this course has been fully re-recorded to take advantage of .NET Core 2.1. Entity Framework Core 2.1, and version 6 of Angular. We'll also be using a supporting cast of characters, HTML5 and CSS3. We're building a web application, so clearly we're going to be needing some HTML to go along with this. We'll also be using Node.js, Git, Bootstrap, and for development purposes, we'll make use of SQLite. Later on in the course, we do swap lists for what you would consider a, a, a proper database server, but SQLite's great for development. Now, there are some prerequisites to this course. If you are coming from a complete beginner, and you've never seen ASP.NET Core, you've never seen Angular, then this would be somewhat challenging for you. I have had students that have taken this course that are complete beginners and have absolutely loved it but it was quite a challenge for them. But if you've got some background in objects oriented programming, you've taken a look at ASP.NET Core and Angular before, or you're coming from other programming languages, then this course will be fine for you. Every single line of code is demonstrated, there's nothing hidden, there's no big copying and pasting of big chunks of code that are not explained. Everything that we do, you'll be able to see and, and follow along in this particular course. And I would put this course somewhere in between beginner and intermediate. Also helpful, but not completely essential, is HTML and CSS. This is more of a programming course than a design course. But obviously, because this is a web application we're building, we're going to be using HTML and CSS for the layout and the styling of our pages. So why this course then? Well, if you're the type of learner that likes to actively do, and you like to have an end product by the end of this course, something that you've built and something that you build towards as you start to learn about these technologies, then this is definitely the course for you. It's quite a long course, but that doesn't mean that it's full of filler material. Every module in this course will be actively building an application. If you're the type of learner that prefers theoretical learning, then this probably won't be the course for you. But if you're a practical-based learner, then definitely this one is should be right up your street. So what you need for this course is a computer. That goes without saying. But this is a cross-platform course. It's designed to be used on a Windows, Mac, or Linux computer. The technologies we use are all cross-platform. And the code editor that I'm using for all of the demonstrations is Visual Studio Code which is a free, lightweight, cross-platform code editor that's excellent for the technologies we're using to develop the application on this course. So I'm very much looking forward to joining you on this journey to build an ASP.NET Core and Angular application from scratch. So let's begin.